Hi everyone, welcome to Animation Juice. My name is Richard and it's Quick Tip Tuesday, which means it's time for another quick design tip. And in this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, create a repeating background in Photoshop. Now this is especially useful if you are in games, maybe uh, casual games and specifically platformers. Uh, this is used quite a lot. I used to have to do this quite a lot and it can be quite finicky trying to have your uh, background which you want to repeat and then trying to match the ends up to make sure that it repeats smoothly without any join. It can be a bit of a faff. Uh, but this is a, a great there's a great tool in Photoshop that allows you to do this really quickly, really easily, even with complex backgrounds and complex joins. So uh, let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and I've got this uh, background that I've painted. It, uh, uh, this could be used for a platformer. I think this was concepted for a platformer. And, of course, with platformer games, you want this background to uh, loop and repeat uh, as we're going across the level, which could be an indefinite length. So you just want to be able to loop indefinitely. You'll be given, a, generally, you'll be given uh, by the developers or by the specs of the game, you'll be given a... Um, dimension for the, the the game or the background itself and once you've got it painted something that you're happy with then you need to be then you need to start worry about how to repeat this thing and it can be a bit of a faff it can be a bit fiddly especially with complex backgrounds and um, but a great way to test whether your background uh, is looping or how well it's looping is to just make a quick pattern out of it now to do that all you're gonna do is uh, select just press command A to select your uh, the entire document uh, of the background that you want to repeat. Go to Edit, Define Pattern, and give it a name. That's I'm happy with that name. And just click OK. Now, if you go to a uh, a new document that's really long, it's the the dimensions are the height of the uh, of your background, and then an indefinite length, just enough to, uh, space so we can see how it's going to repeat. If you come down to the bottom of your Layers panel down to that little circle that's half black and half white and if you hover over it it says create new fill or adjustment layer you click on that and go to the third option down which is pattern click pattern and select the I mean it'll automatically select the latest pattern that you've just say which should be the background leave all the settings as they are 100% and click OK and you can see that it's, cr it's, re it's created our um, repeating background and it's not repeating very well. This, there's a, you can quite clearly see this join line, uh, which isn't good. It's, it's. We need to uh, paint that out, and it can be a bit tricky, especially if we start. If you just start painting on your, uh, you know, usually you have a specific dimension for this background, and it can be quite tricky to get this join to line up perfectly and then select that background again and then test to see if it's repeating. But there is an easy way and I uh, all credit Jules Langren for this tip. She, I've worked with her for years and she showed me this. She's a great artist and you can see her website uh, below. Um, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna go back to our original background. What it is, is if you go to filter, other, offset, and if you keep the vertical at zero but scrub this slider here and you can see that it's, the more we add it, it's, it's offsetting the image further along the screen so we can really, we can move the join line, we know that we, our painting is um, perfect in the middle, you know, there's our painting, it's going to perfectly join. Um, what we want, what it's doing is it's offsetting the image uh, so that we can actually paint the join line in seamlessly. The join line is now in the middle of the image, or what was a join line is now in the middle of the image, and it just makes it really easy to paint it out. So let's just click OK. We know that the edges are going to repeat, so let's just focus on tidying up this uh, middle section. Um,
Now if we do the exact same process, let's test this background see what it looks like now repeated. So if we just do what we did last time, so hold Command A to select the entire painting. Go to Edit, Define Pattern. Let's call this one number two. Hit OK. Go to our. So this is our this is our repeating pattern before we um, use the offset tool in Photoshop. So let's just hide that and go back down to the create new filler adjustment layer. Click on that. Click pattern. This is our newest one. It should be the latest one in the list. Leave that 100%. Click OK, and you can see that we've really there is a, there's, there's there's no join. It's completely seamless. If we compare it with our old one, you see that was this is the old one, and that is how it would look repeating in the game, which has got an obvious join line, and this is the new one, um, and it's a, a seamless background. I mean, you can spend as much time as you like painting. Um, that join line, but you move from stitching something together and, and um, trial and, and, and t keep keeping on testing it to see if it is looping, to um, confidently uh, painting painting on the new join. And if we remember, we did that by using the offset tool in. Photoshop. Now one thing you do need to remember when you use this offset tool is that your drawing must be flattened and then once uh, your drawing is flat then just go to other offset and you can see just move the join line so it's at the center of the image and then just happily paint it out. I found this uh, really useful when creating platform game backgrounds as it uh, really sped up the uh, the process and it allowed you to create much richer background without uh, faffing around trying to stitch both ends together and having to keep testing it continually. With this method you know that each end, once you offset the image, you know that each end is perfect and all you have to concentrate on is ironing out that uh, centre crease which is now in the centre of your drawing which makes it much easier to paint it out. So all credit for Jules Lang to Jules Grant So all credit to Jules Langren for this quick tip. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly found it really useful when um, I found out about it and I hope it'll serve any of you guys, especially if you're in uh, a casual games platformer environment. So that's it for this episode of Quick Tip Tuesday. I hope it's been a really useful episode and showing you the usefulness of the offset tool in Photoshop. It's hidden away in the uh, filters uh, drop down. So I highly recommend using it. It's really great for any kind of repeating pattern, creating repeating patterns, and especially repeating backgrounds in games. So if you like this video, make sure to let me know by leaving a like and a comment, and make sure to subscribe below to stay up to date with all the latest quick tip videos as and when they come out. That's it for this week. Have a great week, guys, and I'll see you later.